this topic, I've been feeling this way for a minute, right? I just haven't found the right words to say. I don't want people to think that I'm a hater because I'm not a hater. I like for everybody to to uh, open new businesses and, and new ventures in life. But I understand in this capitalistic society that we live in, bro, that people just be doing things to get money. And my problem is if there's no passion in that path, like when you choose a path, if there's no passion, it's going to show with the product that you provide, right? So your man, Mr. Beast, sues his food delivery partner over low quality food. The YouTube star whose real name is Jimmy Donaldson wants to end his agreement with virtual dining concepts, all right? So for those of y'all that don't know, Mr. Beast has Mr. Beast Burger, which does delivery, and you can call and get Mr. Beast Burgers delivered to your doorstep, champ. All right, we've seen uh 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 many YouTube stars do um like where they try it and they tell you if it's good or not and all that other stuff, right? But as it started to get more fame and people started, regular people actually started to to buy it. People started to notice that the food was quite nasty, all right? And as you see in this picture, um, it's just a lot of undercooked burgers, a lot of just slapped together style food for people, all right? And it's not just this one picture. I didn't want to overload with a bunch of pictures, but the majority of the pictures I saw when I uh, got into that realm, right, was undercooked, under seasoned, nasty patties, all right? Boom, but this is exactly what's going on, right? YouTube star Jimmy Donaldson or my son Mr. Beast champ, known to his 172 million subscribers as Mr. Beast, filed a lawsuit on Monday against his food delivery service partner, Virtual Dining Concepts, claiming the company damaged his reputation by serving customers low quality and at times inedible food. Now, I just want to stop to say this if you're not going to be there to give the company your sense of what the food should be, right? Your 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 quality food, like how Mr. Beast would want it. You damaged your own reputation. You damaged your own reputation, bro. You just got into a food service mr B, you put your name on it because you know people is fans bro they fanatics so they're gonna buy it just because it say mr beast bro you got 172 million subs bro the only reason why you did B beast burgers was because your name was going to sell bro so don't like, I don't want to put it all on virtual dining concepts bro because you didn't build that from the ground up son and I know you didn't, bro. You don't have time to do so. All right. Uh, Donaldson's famous for his expensive stunts and viral charity projects. Partnered with the Florida-based virtual dining brand to launch Mr. Beast Burger, which in December 2020 began selling branded burger and fried combos through restaurants and commercial kitchens across U.S. Customers order through major food delivery service apps or via Mr. Burger. Uh, the Mr. Beast Burger website, all right, which states menu items are available for restaurants to prepare out of their existing kitchens as a way to generate new uh, a new revenue stream. So this is what he's doing. Whoever wants to make the Mr. Beast Burgers can make the Mr. Beast Burgers from their restaurant. So if there's a diner that's by you called Al's Diner, right? Well, when you go through Mr. Beast Burgers app, It'll be those same cooks in Al's Burger, all right? And they're going to make you... A... You can't blame anybody if you're not controlling what's going on, bro. Like, these, these guys, they... Oh, my God, bro. 
is just insane. But Donaldson, who in November became the most followed individual YouTuber, is now seeking to end his agreement with virtual dining concepts, citing a lack of quality control and noting that his complaints fell on deaf ears. A, sp post a spokesperson for virtual dining concepts did not immediately respond to a request for comment on Monday. A representative for Donaldson declined to comment. Uh, the goal of the business, according to the lawsuit filed in U.S. Southern District Court of New York, was simple, relying entirely on the strengths of Mr. Beast's brand. This is what I'm saying. That's exactly the problem. It's not, yo, this, this man cooks incredible burgers. He cooks incredible food. He know, Let's package his food in his style, the way he likes it, the way he cooks it, right? And let's package it for the fans, being as though that's something that he does. No, y'all relying on his brand to sell whatever the hell type burgers. If you know nothing about food, why get into a food business? And that goes for all you rappers, little baby, and all you guys, bro. Why do it? It's going to fail. Rick Ross don't even do Wingstop no more. You want to know why? They were saying the Wingstop at his location was trash. They said the same thing about Trill Burgers before. See, but that's one thing about Trill Burgers is uh, uh, Bun B actually, like, he fixed it. Like, they was like, yo, the food is nasty, whatever, whatever, whoop, whoop, -de whoop. And he went in there and he fixed it. He actually, he's hands-on with Trill Burgers. Uh, but these other guys, bro, that open these restaurants and all that, they not hands-on, bro. And it ends up, it'd be overpriced and trash, all right? It'd be overpriced and trash. Uh, do, 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 what it said, relying entirely on the strength of Mr. Beast's brand, the business will create a virtual restaurant with a selection of Mr. Beast branded food items. But would then partner with existing restaurants who would prepare those items and share in a significant portion of the revenue from their sales. This nigga had a virtual restaurant. This this man had a virtual restaurant that y'all was ordering from, and it could have been a goddamn uh, 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 trap house that was cooking that food, champ. <laughs> Instead of uh, a flour, imagine what they was using for the... However, the lawsuit claims virtual dining concepts was more focused on rapidly expanding the business as a way to pitch the virtual restaurant model to other celebrities for its own benefit, which would have been crazy because then they all would have had fake restaurants. If this would have worked out, everybody would have had a fake restaurant. You don't know because you're ordering off a DoorDash, right? And you're just, oh, let me go to... Uh, I don't want to say Slim Thug, bro. Like, whoever, bro. And I'm saying, like, let me go to Crip Mac restaurant. Like, you know what I'm saying? And you going online and showing you a... And all that is fake. It's all fake. It's virtual. You thinking you getting from a spot, you not. <sighs> Insanity, bro. Insanity. Let's see what else this says, man. As of Monday afternoon, Mr. Beast Burger, as well as the imagery, as well as imagery of Donaldson, was still featured on Virtual Dining Concepts website. Virtual Dining Concepts repeatedly denied Mr. Beast his valuable approval rights by posting his name, image, and brand on social media and elsewhere without first obtaining his written approval and consent, further in violation of of their agreements in trademark law, virtual dining concept, registered various trademarks throughout the world using Mr. Beast's name and brand without any right to do so and without his consent or knowledge. Yo, listen, man. It's only without his consent and knowledge now because he doesn't like what the fans are saying about the food. He, I'm pretty sure, he more people knew about Mr. Beast burgers than they knew about what visual concepts was you been saw your face and your name on a website bro that's how you were selling burgers i don't understand bro right uh but like i said it's it only backfires 
when you don't love what you're doing. All right. Let's get to some comments. Let's go. Late, but I made it. Your your salute. You already know the vibes, champ. That Mr. Beast cookies taste like ish. They were giving that ish free in the hood. Word, he had cookies too. That's what I'm saying, bro. If you not a cookie monster, bro, like if you not a cookie chef, if you ain't Auntie Annie's, don't make me a pretzel. You feel me? Like, I'm not just going to get into a lane that I'm not nice at. That's that's insane. That's like getting into makeup. Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make blush because I know that females are are uh are, are, are the top consumers in the world. So I'm gonna get in the ladies' blush and eyeshadow. Don't know nothing about it. I used to laugh when dudes was trying to get the bundles and all that for the shorties and all that. Like they trying to learn the lingo and all, bro. It's not for you, bro. It's not for you, bro. Half of these dudes don't know how to cook. They never cooked in their life, bro. Mr. Beast was living at home with his mom before he got rich. What did he actually cook, bro? What did he cook? Y'all are insane, bro. I'm not. That's why I don't buy nothing just because it got somebody's name on it. That's why I made my own company tough. I'm not, I, bro. I don't need to buy nothing. I got nobody name on it because the only reason why y'all buying it is because it got son name on it. And that makes you a fan. That makes you a fanatic. That makes you a north gobbler. To me, champ. To me, it makes you gobbled north. Not gonna lie. One thing I notice about ventures like these is they go through a bunch of trial and error. That's because they don't know what they're doing. This guy is a YouTube content creator, champ. Not to say that YouTube content creators don't know how to cook. I'm saying he doesn't. I'm saying he doesn't. <laughs> I'm saying he doesn't. That's a crazy loophole. It is, champ. He is basically reporting anyone if they make his burger with anything less than A plus meat. Pause, champ. All right. Pause. Uh, no. So that's not what's happening. He partnered with a company. Right. The company's whole thing was to, to make virtual restaurants for stars. Right, so let's say Kathy Lee Griffin want to do a, a chicken spot. Right, she she'll 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 get with with visual concepts. The company they'll virtually make her store. Right, so when you go on Uber Eats, you'll see her store and the menu and all that, and you'll order. But what's happening is the food is being prepared from anywhere around your area that make food. So at a diner. Uh, anywhere else that got a kitchen that that's a place where you could go eat, they'll be making the food. How can you control quality when you don't even know where your food is? Everything is virtual. They didn't go to these spots and check their food to see if they was going to be making good food. But it's a cash grab, and they just y'all y'all got to be easy with the money that y'all be spending and what y'all be spending it on because it's trash, bro. It's trash. Everything is trash. Super six four salute. You know the vibes. We here. I can order shrimp fried rice from China Mac House with this information. Facts. China Mac will send you a plate of lamb lo mein. Real talk through visual concepts. Like it's it's, it's just trash. Like anybody can have a restaurant without doing the work. That's the age that we getting into. And I I realized that with music too a long time ago. Like we getting into the age of the less work the is the best work. These dudes is everybody's not writing no more. I had a rhyme book this thick before I went to the studio. Before I went to my first studio. I had a rhyme book like this thick. Pause. Pause on the hand gestures. I'm not gonna hold you. Hold on, wait, champ. Nah, we can't get away with that. Ew! Can't let myself get away with that one. All right. A North Goblin is at an all-time high. That's a fact. Brandon is a hell of a product pusher, but remember, your name is only as good as the product. And if the product is bad, it will ruin your name. This is why a lot of people say it's not good to always have your face and your name attached to a product. 
All right. Like if I came out with something called called uh uh Rosie's. Right, like let's just say I did a restaurant called Rosie's and I didn't put my name or my face on it, nobody would know that had anything to do with me. So, whether it succeeded or failed, it wouldn't make or break my legacy to me, it would, but it wouldn't make or break my my legacy. What I got going on, it wouldn't take my name. I mean, but like I said, salute to Mr. Beast. Uh, the only reason why I even talk about Sun is because. He inspires me, champ, all right? He inspires me to do better on YouTube. He inspires me to get more cheese and more chicken. He gives a lot of information, too, man, if y'all building a YouTube page. Mr. Beast does give a lot of information on what to do and what not to do on YouTube uh, so that your page can grow and all that, too. So salute to Mr. Beast. Just stay in your lane, champ. All right? You're worth like $100 million or something like that. Just stay in your lane. It's 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 enough bread in your lane. You don't need all the bread. Like you a philanthropist, you don't need all the bread though. It's just I just that's just some safe words for you. you know what I'm saying like you you don't need all the bread because it's gonna get you in trouble, right? But salute to Mr. Beast, man. 